Here's another interesting object. Now, this particular object belonged to Tutankhamun and was found in his tomb, and it's one of four. This particular item uh, basically is a coffinet that shows the front side, the back side, and then the inside. Now, Tutankhamun's internal organs were not placed directly in the cavities of the canopic chest, but in four small coffins of solid gold like you see over here. And they were inlaid with colored glass and carnelian. What makes it very interesting too in the design is that this was actually made as a replica for the middle coffin of Tutankhamun. Since Tutankhamun had three coffins, this would resemble the innermost. Now these coffins represent the god Osiris, mummified with the arms crossed, holding the crook, the shepherd's crook and the flail for swatting away flies of kingship. And it's supposed to represent the deceased. A small quick history about the canopic chest or the embalming process. Now the embalmed internal organs were usually identified with four minor deities known as, deities known as the four sons of Horus. And basically were named Inseti, who protected the liver, Happy, who protected the lungs, Duwamutef, who protected the stomach, and Kebesenuef, which is, which is this one in particular, protected the intestines. So this would have contained the intestines of Tutankhamun inside here, wrapped up and dry. And each one of those gods, the minor gods, the sons of Horus, would be protected by major goddesses, therefore being Isis, Nephthys, Neith, and Selket. And in this particular case, Selket, the scorpion goddess, protects Kebesenuef, or the intestines. So how do we know that this is Kebesa Nuef that protects this coffinet? Well, we have the hieroglyphs over here. So what it says here is words spoken by Serket. And what she says down here now, she speaks, I place my arms on that which is in me. Okay, so I place my arms, I place my arms upon that which is in me. And basically it says, I protect... Kebesenuef, which is, of course, the minor god that protects the intestines. I protect Kebesenuef, which is in me. Kebesenuef, once again, the name, the Osiris, the king, and then you have the throne name of the king Tutankhamun, which is Neb Keperure, which means many are the manifestations of Ra, and then true of voice. True of voice is an expression saying that the deceased is basically vindicated. He is without sin. And just to show you here on the back side, you can see how the wrapping of the vulture or the arms wrapped to protect the king. It's the same in the front. It protects the king. So wings are meant to protect an individual. And you can see here the talons are carrying the symbols, the shen, which mean infinity. So may the king be protected for infinity. Now, one last point I'd like to make about this particular coffinet, which is one of four. This particular one shows that it was usurped. That means it was borrowed from someone else's. New evidence has come to show that the cartouche, if you can come close over here, this cartouche, which, should, which carries the name of Tutankhamun, was actually a palimpsest, which was basically removed and then replaced on top the name of Tutankhamun. And I posted about this, showing that it was actually the throne name of the queen Nefertari, Nefertiti that was placed on here. So we know that this particular coffin that belonged to her and it was later taken by Tutankhamun. So that is a little bit of history about this little coffin at one of four, which belongs, which contained the intestines of Tutankhamun wrapped. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something about this lovely coffinet.